are back right where we left off. So let's get into it, see if we can help these ringtail lemurs out and uh, get done with this uh, This one. It'll be super cool. Need, shall we? Select mm. one of them and bring up their information panel. Okay. Select. Oh, nope. Not not the guests. The, the lemurs. Come on. All right. Let's select one of these guys. Next, okay. click on the terrain tab. Let's go to a terrain. Ah, now, oh. as you can see, yeah. the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. Definitely. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. Oh, awesome. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. I think for now, By we'll way, just put this one down. It's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. They go. certainly do keep us on our toes. Well, yeah. I mean, they like to climb. It's a thing. Uh, can we just shift? Oh, no. Just hit shift and bring it down a little bit. There we go. Why? Was that not all? Uh, let's see. It still says... Oh, I bet it's because it's not playing. Hold on. Let's go ahead and hit play. Oh, that's a there great we go. climbing frame okay. for them. They're going to absolutely love it. They are. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? Yeah. You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Okay, let's go ahead and... No, get out of the thing. Why? Oh my goodness. Um, I don't think it... No. Why wouldn't it let me just select it? Do I have to select the actual gate, maybe? Where's the gate? Oh, there it is. Can I, can I click it? Lovely. There we go. Now select the animals tab. Okay. Animals. There we go. As you can see, food we can quality. set the food quality in here. Just click on the drop down menu awesome. and select grade two food quality. And I didn't know grade anything about that in the beta. Food quality. My mouth's already watering. <laughs> uh, calm so, down there, Nancy. A new climbing frame and better food. Yeah. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. I know. Now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, okay. we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild. So yeah. the best candidates gotcha. will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Okay. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo. Because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. Yeah, and you definitely want to do that. the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the oh, habitat, I'm already there. and select him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. I think it's a he, right? Pretty sure. Oh, maybe that's it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Speaking of trees... <clears throat> okay, there we go. All right, so release to the wild. Yes, please. Eleven hundred and seventy-one credits. Sad to see him go, but he'll be happy Yay, out in the wild. And he's a wonderful <clears throat> candidate for release. Young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work there. You Thank definitely you. got potential, you know. Awesome. I like to think so. Ah, I see you've been doing some homework. Although, yep. it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. I imagine well, yeah. I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more algebra. Tortoises. <laughs> Tortoises. So okay. bad. 
So far, we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. I've marked an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? Okay. Lovely. Now let's build oh. a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier. Then pop it into the gap. Where? Uh. There's a gap. Hmm. I don't. I don't see it. Let's, let's go up. Let's go up. I don't think it's marked anymore because she said okay. Very good. Oh, there it is. Okay, awesome. <laughs> it's like, where did it go? All right. So, let's go ahead and get a habit, um, an exhibit. Say habitat, but it's not exhibit. It's not. It's an exhibit. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Come on. All right. So, can we just place it? We have to... <laughs> Why would it just cooperate? Go ahead and put it on the ground. Oh, I bet. Oh, there we go. I saw it. It was there. Perfect. There we go. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a healer monster? Open up the sure. exhibit trading section and adopt one. I like that they come out with a bunch of different exhibit animals that aren't like just, just the do with creepy crawlies animals, that I like to call it. We need to send the healer monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. Oh, that looks so cool. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't so mean cool. it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. We'll Look start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Okay, gotcha. Good. Now click on the layout tab. All right, put some layout in there. As I'm sure you know oh, by rocks. now, you can unlock more enrichment levels by having one of your vets do some research. Yeah. We'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. Oh, yeah. These Definitely need to do that. These are important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Um. Here, you can see, see the healer monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. There we go. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. All right. So the other... Oh, this one needs to go way over to the other side. Is that too far? So that's like way for a far over to the right. Look at all the people just liking this... Gila, is it Gila Monster? Gila Monster. Super cool. Oh, let's see. We went too far. All right, a little bit up. That's the ticket. Yay! And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So oh, click this is on cool. the Windows tab. I think I'm just gonna close the one in the middle. You can customize any of the windows on an exhibit. A Which window one can is be that? closed and blank, or have a two-dimensional background, or even a three-dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? Okay, so we can... There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them Who down do? near exhibits to teach your guests about them. Wait. Let's add one now. Hold on. I'm trying to trying to do the window thing right now. Come on, Nancy. Jeez. Give me a second. Um, it's not there. Right? Oh, do we have to close window first? Oh, maybe we have to do that. No, nothing. Why? I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have to hit OK first. I, I want the 3D facade. I mean, come on. Come in here and do something not 3D. That is super cool. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Yep. Super cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put in the, um, this one? This one, the exhibit education board. Um, let's not do a line to surface. <laughs> and as always, because, you know, we can, let's go ahead and turn that off because I don't like that. So let's, uh, we could put one on either side, but we'll just put one right here. Kind of looks like it's floating. 
I can't see because of all the people. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. Uh, did she say we need to put a speaker? Okay, stop it. Okay, so let's go ahead and select that and kill a monster. Lovely stuff. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Yay. Right, now I've got a bit of a big job for you. Okay. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. Oh, okay. You probably okay. want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, off you pop. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. Okay, so they just kind of put us out in the deep end. Like, okay, now they did that. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um, Why am I going? It seems like I'm going super slow. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe we could put one over here. Like, maybe we could have a bridge over here. Um, Let's see. Where else can we put... Oh, here we go. Okay. We'll just put some down here then. And let me look and see what animals I've got. Because I don't think you can get other animals. You just have whatever they've given you. So, let's see. Animal storage. Oh, no. I guess. Okay. So, we can get... get a bear so we can get bear's tapir we already have bonobos right you know before i do anything i should probably check the zoo because i did watch um somebody's video and they said they went through and got all this stuff for one animal and they already they were already actually in the zoo so it didn't count so i want to make sure we get the stuff that's going to count, right? I don't see Baird's Tapir on here. So let's go ahead and get one of those. So let's go to Animal Trading. And let's make sure what these guys need. Uh, habitat. 430, 37 meters of water. Grade 2, 3 foot fence. Okay. So let's go ahead and make a habitat. I always do that. Go to barrier. <laughs> grade two. And these I finally have the grades on them. I didn't get that in my beta. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to use corrugated. It corrugated to me doesn't look that great. Um, I think what I'll do... I guess we should probably just use a path down here first um which one of these I think we'll go off here for the guest path oh wow this ground is a little um crazy okay why did it do that okay come on Okay, let's get rid of that. Alright. So, before we do any of that, let's go ahead and go to terrain. And we'll kind of level this out for now. Flatten to foundation. Uh, let's do size. And we can make it... We can bring it up later, but for now, I just want to... Why is this... Okay. It's flattening a lot more than I thought. Okay. And let's go ahead and smooth it for a se second. So we got the land kind of smoothed out a little bit. So now we're going to go ahead and do some pathing here. And I'm just going to be doing a voiceover. These will be a little bit, uh, a little bit of a time lapse going on. Uh, just to show you guys what I did uh, to get these animals in and all happy. So we're going to get the Baird's Tapir. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we didn't already have these animals in the zoo. Uh, because if we did, then it won't count towards uh, the amount of species that we need 
to finish the career. So we're definitely going to do that. I started with a chain link fence here. Um, I'm, I don't really like the look of the chain link fence. Uh, these guys only need like, I think a grade two fence. So, uh, or barrier. Uh, so I was like, well, that doesn't need to be super crazy, but uh, I went ahead and changed it to a wood uh, log fence. I can't remember what the fence is actually called. Wood log or log fence. So um, we'll go ahead and change that. And also, I think I added some uh, one-way glass up there to... Uh, so yeah, here we go. So the guests can see the animals and the animals don't see the guests. So we don't want them to get too stressed. Even though they did get stressed towards the end and I'm not sure why, but... Uh, you know, I guess they just decided they wanted to be stressed this day, so <laughs> it's fine. But, uh, we're going to get these guys in and then also, um, see what else we can get in the zoo because this is, um, this career mode, I guess they only have available what animals that they want you to get. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but... Um, so we're going to put a couple of exhibit animals in as well later. And, uh, so we don't have to, I think these, yeah, right here, uh, the burrowing something cockroach, I think. So it's not the, not the prettiest animal to look at, I'm sure. But, you know, uh, I kind of like the snail. The snail is kind of cool. So we'll put those two guys in. Uh, just to fill in the need and go ahead and get in here and change up the temperature so they'll be nice and happy. And also, um, we'll go in and put some rocks and stuff in so they can uh, be happy about that. And um, the temperature is pretty cool. It's pretty cool that you can change the temperature in these little uh, exhibits. I think it's pretty neat that they did that. And, uh, and it doesn't fluctuate, which is nice. You don't have to like keep going back to see if it's still good, but we're going to go back to the tapirs and, uh, we need to get them all settled in their habitat. So it look, they do need water, uh, not a ton of it. So we're going to put some water here at the, at the front of the exhibit, um, uh, habitat. I'm always going to put those like interchange those cause I'm just not used to that, <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine. So, uh, we're going to give them some water and I kind of like doing the natural water as opposed to just the water pipe because, um, sometimes at least in the beta, we had some issues with the water pipe not working or the animals not going to it. So I just ended up putting little water holes and everything anyways. <laughs> And isn't, the animals don't mind if there's a little bit of water, um, which is nice. It's not like the, um, the, like, foliage in the beta, you know, not many animals liked lots of foliage. So, we're going to go ahead and get these guys a little shelter, and we're just going to use a blueprint for now. Um, at least for the career mode, I would like to kind of stick with just the basic stuff as much as we can. We will make it look a little prettier, um, as you guys can see. And in this video, at least, I tried to, uh, make it, you know, a little exciting to look at, you know, with the foliage and everything and try to get in there and actually build some stuff on my own. Um, and sometimes we do and sometimes we don't, but here we mess with the foliage and, it's so cool to get all of this stuff to to work with all the trees and plants and it's just so cool. They look so awesome. This huge tree. Uh I was like, "No, I can't do that. That is way too big." And that would get like that would give them up to 100 coverage in no time, so I don't I don't want to do that. But I love the way the rain looks. Um obviously in the beta zoo, we didn't have a uh, rain, you know, I think it, maybe I had it rain once or twice, but, um, here you can really see, you know, the rain kind of puddling in spots and, uh, I am fast forwarding it. So it looks a little weird, but, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. So we're going to go ahead and get them some food and toy enrichment to, uh, have them 
have something to play with because that'll make them happy, right? That makes everybody happy. Have food, have toys, it's cool. So <laughs> we're going to get that done, and I think that will get their happiness up pretty good. Here we have a forage box that they can play with. Uh, but for some reason, I can't get it to go in the ground very very well. So I just decided to put a barrel there instead. I'm like, just do this. It's fine. Um, a lot of times when you put the, the bigger things down, even the smaller things, they'll actually kind of level out the ground. So I was kind of surprised it wouldn't let me place it. But oh well, it's fine. So now we're going to start with the uh, western chimpanzee um, habitat and I actually said it right. Yay. And uh, we're just going to use the uh, wood log fence like we did with the other one. But of course the chimpanzees are going to climb, which I didn't, um, I guess I didn't really take into account when I did this. So <laughs> we will have animals escape pretty soon. But I went ahead and put a keeper hut back here so we could have um, these guys getting food because they weren't getting getting fed. I was like, what is going on? So, yeah, I realized that we probably should put a keeper hut there. And I didn't mess with any of the decorations just yet. So we just put it there, put a keeper down, and uh, then we have a keeper come. So it's fine. Okay, we're back. So we did some stuff, got some more animals going. And, uh, yeah, let's get in, get back into it. And we'll replay my, that. My, my, you have been busy, haven't you? Yep. Splendid. But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. So let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Go on, get to it. Okie dokie. So let's get this uh, western chimpanzee nice and happy, and I will be right back. All right, so we're going to just uh, fix up the terrain here. He does not like the long grass. Most of the animals don't like the long grass. I wish it wasn't that. Like, I wish it started with short grass, and then we could go from there because, yeah, the long grass. And it makes it harder for the uh, guests to see the animals. So, you know, decided to just go with a couple of blueprints for the climbable pieces and also, this uh, climbable piece, I decided to uh, duplicate it uh, quite a few times to try to make a shelter out of it as well. So, it's a climbable piece and a shelter, which I think is pretty cool. So, I just go ahead and copy that and make a, like a second tier to it. So, and we still have that wherever, whenever you're doing the terrain stuff. It boxes up the animals. I don't like that. That's weird. But uh, I want to go ahead and take out the middle part of this so we can actually put the bedding and stuff there. Um, it doesn't cooperate very well. <laughs> I get the logs there, but I can't get the top selected. So I, I just have to do it by uh, individual pieces and delete them. It's kind of kind of crazy, but we get it done. So, you know, it's it works out in the end. And um, I didn't realize that second one was so far down until I moved the camera position. So we're going to go ahead and move that as well. And I still kind of like the different tiers. So we're going to keep that. And um, I'm going to add a little bit of a ramp going from one to the other. So uh, I don't even know. I think the chimps can get up here. Uh, I didn't even think about putting something like a ladder from the ground up because it's mainly a shelter. That's what I was, you know, going to make it for. So, I don't know. Maybe they can jump from one piece to another and get up there. I'm not exactly sure. How, I don't think I ever see them actually use it. So, you know, I'm not 100%. Not but I went ahead and put some bedding up here. I thought it would be a cool little place for them to hang out and, uh, you know, take a little, bit, a little bit of a nap in the middle of the day. But, like I said, I haven't seen them use it, so... It's fine, but um, they they got boxed up because we moved the the stuff. See, it starts raining and it just goes directly over there. It's super cool. I I think that is awesome how the rain uh, rain and weather in general in this game works. I think they did such an awesome job. But we're gonna go ahead and put 
a power thing over here because I don't think... I thought this was powered, but it said something like it didn't have power. So we're going to put one there. And uh, also a water treatment because, again, I'm not sure if there's one close, but I want to make sure the um, tapirs have clean water and see that he got away there. Um, so I'm just going <laughs> to going to make the fence a little bit taller um uh or the barrier i keep saying fence the habitat barrier taller and also add those anti-climbing things what is it called um and then zoom in just to make sure it's on the right side of the of the barrier because i never can tell where that actually is and it says that they need more space so we just kind of drag that out so we can give them more space and that's one thing in this game that you really need to kind of pay attention to because um, the the space can get pretty pretty small pretty fast, um, especially if you have a group of say t chimpanzees or uh, the bonobos in this one. Uh, they have quite a few uh, people, uh, quite a few animals in their group, and it gets it gets small very fast. So definitely want to keep an eye out on that. But here we're just adding a bunch of trees and plants and seeing if we can get these guys happy enough. I guess we want to finish the uh, challenge, the, the career. So, um, And these little mangrove trees, I think they're just super cute. Um, so we're going to add some of those. And I wanted a bit of color because we just have green everywhere. Um, so this tree looks pretty cool, but I think it's kind of big, but... <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I just like all the green. It's just so cool. And we're just going to add another couple of enrichments because um, I, if you guys don't know already, but uh, in the enrichments, the animals will get tired of their enrichments. So you want to make sure not to put, you know, all of them out at once because then you can't change them out. So we're going to add some more um Chimp chimpanzees here because their social is not good so we definitely needed to do that but now we're at the bonobos um to see what we can do to get them happy and i don't know if it's the space in here or what but their enrichment is so much i mean if you see that uh that number at the enrichments um it is it's a lot i'm like we're not going to be able to get this enrichment fixed but we do what we can and then add some uh, shelters around. And again, I just use the blueprints because, you know, I just want to get done with the career. And uh, I didn't really want this to be like a three-part um, three part series for the, for the career. So I wanted to go ahead and get it done. And they're still not happy with the shelter here. So I'm going to look around and uh, see where else we can put one. And... <laughs> I notice they have these bedding, this bedding over here, but they don't have shelter over it. So that seems like the best place to put uh, some bedding. So um, then, <laughs> these guys are just so cute. But look and see that their look that toy enrichment. The number is insanely high. I don't know. I'm like, how are you supposed to get that much in here? So I just kind of you know spam stuff around because I don't know what else to do. But they don't like that mirror mobile, um, which is on the list for them, but they don't like it. Like every time I put that down, it's, they don't, it's like, nope, I don't want that. So I don't know, but we do some and, uh, see what we can get done for them because we want them to be happy. We want them to be happy bonobos. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put some boxes and, uh. They gonna put some sprinklers and keyboard and all kinds of stuff. Um, I, I haven't actually seen the animals play with the keyboards yet. I haven't uh, been able to, uh, you know, catch anybody doing that. But that would be so cute. Because I, I remember seeing it in one of the uh, trailers before the game came out that had, I think, the lemurs playing with that, with the keyboard. So I think it's super cool. I think it's funny that there's a keyboard, but but it's cool. <clears throat> so uh, after we get these guys taken care of, we're pretty much done. These guys were a little unhappy, 
but we got them taken care of and then yeah we're we're good with that so i'll leave it here and back to the live lovely job there you should be proud of yourself not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Lanny, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing! <laughs> well, you're welcome. Yay, we did it! Gold star, awesome! Wow! Well, you've certainly transformed the zoo. I barely recognize it. A wonderful well, new exhibit, some fascinating new species, and you've done wonders for the animals' welfare by enriching their habitats. <laughs> Who doesn't love playing with a three-foot wide soccer ball, huh? <laughs> I mean, other than professional soccer players. Uh, probably. I mean, I'm sure ah, it wasn't why is that I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Plowing all those funds back into the welfare of the animals uh, doesn't no, make running good. these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> no. As far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Yep. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. Okay. Alright, so I know this um, episode has been a little bit long, but I wanted to get everything done and... Uh, you know, all the animals happy, and yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed, um, there's going to be some, you know, sped up parts, and some not sped up parts, all that fun stuff, so let me know what you guys think about the format of this video, um, and yeah, I will definitely do more if you like this, uh, I'm trying to find the things in here, but I'm not finding them, so it's okay. But yeah, so we got all the animals, we got all of them happy, at least for now. And uh, yeah, so I will see you next time. Check out all the links below if you want to play this game or if you want to look at, um, check out any of my social media or Patreon uh, pages. And it seems like there's other things, but you guys know, I am super excited about this game. I can't wait to get further into it and uh, see what we can do. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a super blessed day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!